So to monitor the amount of traffic through your bandwidth, uh, amount of traffic going through a certain interface on your computer or on a server, the command to achieve this is if top. Now, as soon as I press if top, I firstly obviously have to install if top. So you do sudo apt get install if top on your respective machines, and that's all you really have to do. So. I notice the problem here is this error. This is the very first problem. So why this happens is because if top tries to run on a promiscuous mode, means it tries to evade all the firewalls that are there on the network and on Ubuntu. So for it to actually not run in promiscuous mode, simple solution is I do sudo if top. And when I press enter, it opens the if top. And if you noticed here, it said listening to et not. So this is my Ethernet interface and it's actually not showing me anything because I'm not connected to the internet via Ethernet. So I press Q to quit. And now I need to actually make it show me the traffic through the wireless interface. So for that, first I need to see the name of my wireless interface, which is wireless LAN not. This is the one that I'm currently using. It could be down or it could be up. In my case, it was down before, so I had to bring it up. Now, what I do is I press manual if top, and the shortcut for selecting your interface is actually minus i right here. And uh, I could actually look it up there. So, the way I use this command is I go minus i. As soon as I press this, and now it's listening to wireless LAN not. Now what this screen is showing me is all the packets of data that are traveling through my wireless. So my IP address is uh, not visible here. Just give me a second. Is yeah, uh, 6.104. I press this. This is my IP address contacting this IP address. You can see every single packet of data. This is very useful if you're, uh, the machine you're running is a server. So this shows the amount of data that's transmitted, total amount of data transmitted, total amount of data received. And this is the total amount of data. These show the rates. This is the data on individual packets. Uh, earlier the data shown to me was in bits, now it's in bytes, my mistake. So, yeah, now the other uh, other things that you can do with this is, uh, okay, I'm going to do this again, and I'm going to show you how these numbers change when I open a web page, say I'm going to open my Facebook account. First I need to get into cyber room. Now, I need you to look here press login I'm gonna enter Facebook you can see these numbers will suddenly soar right. now as soon as I enter something which is a little heavy on the bandwidth I'll say you can see immediately the numbers start rising I'll try and open a video So yeah, that was a video and that is the impact it has on the total amount of data that's transferred. It's almost immediately visible. Now another thing which is very useful with this is the filter command. Now how I use the filter command is say I want to check the amount of data traveling between this IP address and another IP address. So say I want to check the data traveling between our IP and this IP.1.45. So I enter the 1.45 and I must specify the DNS that this IP is using. And I press enter, it gives me the interface. Now, as you can see here, I see absolutely nothing. That's because my device is not communicating with 1.45. So I press Control alt tab open a new terminal, and uh, just observe what happens when I do.
one last thing to note is that suppose I wanted to display the port names of the websites I'm visiting. So the command for this is again really simple. I'll do sudo if top wireless LAN and then I'll press minus P. So then I press enter. You see instead of random IP addresses, four connections to triple IT Delhi network. I'm gonna browse around a little on Facebook. So we'll see that that is also likely to show up as you can see over here actually I can open this link and examine it 